Hey everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. I have a really exciting one for you today about replacing subjects with vase. So this is pretty simple workflow. We're gonna generate a pose image in the same pose as our subject of the video. And then when we do the actual wand generation, it allows us to mask the subject of the video and then replace them with that per image. If you don't have vase set up already, I have a video on it. Go, go over and check that out, get familiar with vase first, then come back and we'll go through how to do this workflow. And vase does rely on WAN 2.1, so if you haven't learned WAN 2.1, then you're gonna need to go back and watch that video as well. Th that video is also on my channel. Once you've done that, we can jump right into the workflow. So just download it from my free Patreon, links in the description. Okay, so this is what you'll get when you drag the workflow in. So the first thing we're going to do is use a control net to generate the replacement first frame. Vase works best when, if you're using a driving video like this, when you pose the subject in almost the exact same pose that the original subject was in. So that's why we're gonna use the first frame in a control net. Um, if you need a specific character, you can try something like IP adapt IP adapter or pull ID or a LoRa. A Flux LoRa is gonna be your best option for sure. What this does is it gets the first frame, passes it into the control net, and then we get an output image. All right, so let's run it. And if you want to give a description, we can put one in here. Um, let's say a woman with blue skin talking. And one note here, the Instant X Flux control net does take quite a bit of VRAM. So I did put a SDXL option in here as well. If you can't fit this into your GPU, SDXL uses quite a bit less VRAM. Okay, so we got this image of this blue woman. So we can save this off and then turn off the control net or the, the flux control net. Oh. Okay, and then let's turn on pretty much everything else. Okay, so all we need to do is drag in that picture that we saved, make sure our height and width are correct. Okay, and then go down to your points editor. You can either use this image, so the actual first frame, or you can use the image that we just generated to do this masking portion. So I prefer to use this points editor, segment anything. You can try Florence too, but I find that um, you can run into some problems. This I find to be really easy. So all we do is we put the green dots for where we want to mask and we put the red dots where we don't want to mask. So left shift left click creates green dots, shift right clicked creates red dots. All right, so that should be pretty good. Let's see what kind of mask we get. Okay, so there's our mask, really good. It's pretty much bang on just over the woman talking. All right, so now it's good. we're gonna generate the video. And then after the video is generated, we're basically gonna cut, use this image composite masked node and cut the woman out of the generated image and paste her over the original one. If you do have any trouble with this and you need help, the comparison video is usually the most helpful for troubleshooting. I can tell a lot of what's going on just from the comparison video. But you can see this is already a way better quality generation than I showed you in the original vase model video. So really important to get that pose correct right off the bat and you should get a much better generation after that. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you need any help troubleshooting, head over to the Discord. The Discord is the best place for me to help you with troubleshooting. Follow my other socials, I just created an an X account where I'm just gonna be sharing some random thoughts about AI throughout my day. I appreciate all the support I've gotten from everyone up to now. It's been really cool to see. I have a really awesome face swapping video and it's gonna be better than Reactor, I think. So don't wanna miss that one. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.